So particularly new beekeepers, they are concerned about that their bees are going to swarm and it is a concern, but they also need to understand that swarming is a natural thing that bees do. That's exactly how they've evolved over the years. And that's exactly how they have been able to move across Europe, Africa, when they were brought into North and South America, the, the swarming process is how they uh, perpetuate their species. So it's a natural thing that we're trying to stop them from doing. So it's a difficult thing to do. Now there's primarily two reasons that the, the bees want to swarm. One is that there's just too much congestion within the hive itself, or there's not adequate ventilation. And when that happens, what the queen bee will do is send out a pheromone and signal the bees that it's time to swarm. Half those bees will gorge themselves with honey and uh, they will go out, find a new home and, uh, and off they go again. Now the bees that were left in the hive, um, they've got to make a new queen. So for you as a beekeeper, one of the big problems or three big problems is that one, you've got half as many bees. Uh, second, you, um, you got half as much honey and you don't have a queen anymore. So you've got to uh, try to fix all those problems. Now, how do you work to try to prevent the swarm? Uh, there's a couple of things you do. And one is that you, you need to inspect your hives. An inspection, particularly in the brood area, if that brood area is getting too congested, uh, you can add another brood box, or what I like to do is just take some of those, that brood out of there, put it into a new, get a queen, and literally start a new hive and give that existing hive time and, and space to continue to build their brood. The other problem is that if you've started, they've started adding honey to their honey supers, that can get too congested. As a rule of thumb, I usually, once they filled seven frames of honey, then I will then move, uh, put a new hive on. Uh, one thing you can do to, to help encourage those bees to, uh, to move into, uh, let's say the second super, is do what's checkerboarding. You take some of this, the, the, the honey frames up and put them in the top hive, reverse out some of the, the um, empty frames into the lower, super and they'll encourage them to keep moving up and not feel the congestion. So be concerned about um, the, the, the swarm, understand that it's gonna probably happen early in the spring when the, the, the bees are active, um, but be vigilant and watch for the signs that, that they're wanting to swarm.